Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Gone are the days where we used to rely on our local weather person to appear on the television and tell us the weather forecast for the coming days. Now we have an expectation to be able to view this information as and when we need it, and sometimes before we even know that we need it. There are some great weather applications available on iOS. However, today I'm going to show you how to use one that not only gives me accurate information, but entertains me at the same time, and that's carrot weather. Now at the time of recording it costs $3.99 and there are also two subscription plans you can take out as well, which we'll cover shortly. So let's open it up and see what we've got. The first time you open the application, you'll get the traditional carrot app salutation, which is greetings meatbag, and carrots will ask to be granted access to your location. There is also an option in the bottom right to toggle the personality on or off. Now as Carrot's unique selling point is the personality of the AI assistant, I definitely leave this on. So I'm just going to grant location access here, click allow, and we're presented with the main interface. And already you can see, it's great to look at. Most importantly though, it's very easy to use. I can scroll across the timeline in the center to check the hourly forecast for the next few days. Now I'm currently recording this on a Saturday, so there we can see tomorrow's forecast. And if I keep on scrolling, there's Monday, and then eventually I'll reach a point where I have to tap the screen to reveal any extended hourly data beyond that point. So now I can see the hourly forecast for Monday, Tuesday, and so on. At the bottom, there is a daily timeline bar. And this will automatically move the hourly timeline above to that given day. So I'm just going backwards to today's date now. There's Monday. A bit further back is Sunday, and eventually we get to today, Saturday. Tapping on a single hour will show some more information in the information window at the top. Moving to the top of the screen, tapping in the top left hand corner will show me any weather alerts that have just been announced. Now where I live, it's a little bit sleepy weather wise. I live on the coast, but aside from a one off storm every year or so, we don't really get much by way of weather alerts. However, dependent on your own location, this may be something worth checking out occasionally. I'll just close this. To the right of that we have the share button, and this looks like it will just open the standard iOS share sheet, but not so. It actually opens Carrot Weather's own share window, where you can screenshot the current forecast for sending to others. You can redact your location, and at the top there it shows that I'm in Ramsgate currently in the UK. I can tap the redact location button, and my location's pixelated out. I'll just untick that. You can crop the extended forecast if you wish. So currently that's set. But if I was to untick that button, both the hourly timeline in the center and the daily timeline at the bottom appear. I'll just tick that again. And then tapping the take screenshot button will now give you the standard share sheet to send the image. So you can send a screenshot via a message typically or through any application that has an enabled share extension. Tapping the location field allows you to change location. So currently I'm in Ramsgate, which is where my office is. However, quite often I work in London. So I'll change that here to show me the forecast for when I'm with clients. It's good to know if I need my big coat or not. So I'll just type in the search term and the results appear. I'll just tap London. And you can see quite clearly it looks like it's raining there at the moment. There's also a weather alert I can see has appeared in the top left hand corner. Tapping on it shows us we've got wind warnings in London and the southeast. Let's look at the map view. This is a great feature. There's a key in the top left hand corner that shows you what the different colours denote. And this can be removed simply by tapping on it. You can pinch in and out as you would expect in a map application. Clicking the play button in the bottom left hand corner we'll play back the weather animations for the last hour. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone. 
and even your Apple TV using the Members Only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.